There's no experience like tasting whiskey straight from the barrel. And that's what Barrel Bourbon delivers with every bottle. Learn more at BarrelBourbon.com. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Whiskey Quickie, and today we're taking a look at Nashville Barrel Company. And this is part of their releases of their kind of single barrel products and stuff like that. And shout out to Michael Hines, he's one of the owners in there. He sent us this to be able to review. So you see he's actually put our, our logo right there on the bottle. So Nice touch. Nice little touch, nice yeah. little touch. Um, but let's go ahead and give you some of the details on this. So. Everything from Nashville, well, not everything, but what we've seen coming out recently, most of it is coming from MGP, and this is no different. So this is their five-year-old bourbon release coming from MGP. It is 115.5 proof. Now, what we are tasting here is a single barrel, and it also says this is from uh, barrel BP1, which probably is not a real barrel. That's our barrel. It's, right. it's our barrel. If this, is, one. this is good. We, we, want, we want the whole barrel. Uh, but this is also have a, has a retail price of $75. Yeah, I had some of the rise. They're really good. And they've been doing some good job of picking out some good rye barrels. Yeah, I mean, I think they got they got really lucky early on of, of finding uh, a lot of good lots of MGP. And I know there's a lot of people in the bourbon community that really latched onto it, especially because there's a there's a lot of MGP people that out there are really chasing it nowadays too. So yeah, let's, let's go ahead and we'll dive in. So here's the nose. Baking spices. Almonds, maybe? Yeah, that get a ton of like allspice. A little bit of brown sugar. Not getting the almonds, but maybe. Maybe it's just me. More of a blue diamond. A little, almonds bit, a little bit of a nuttier kind of guy myself. All right. Yeah, that, the, that allspice is really. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice spicy nose, though. And under the taste. Pretty well balanced. Yeah, it's pretty good. There's good MGP barrel. Yeah, it's uh, nice and rich. There's like a like raisin, kind of raisin, uh, not raisin brand, but raisin, like cinnamon toast raisin kind of crunch Ooh. kind of thing going on. And then opens up to that, those baking spices that you're used to with the 36% at this age. That's like, there's a nice spice there. So it's very well balanced. It's nice and sweet and sugary kind of on the front end and explosion of spice on the back end i'd say it hits all the check boxes that you would think from an mgp yep so let's go ahead and we'll rate it so on the nose where you at sideways i mean it's good it's average you know it's it's what you would expect it's what you expect yep and on the taste thumbs up i really liked it like at five years um usually they're a little bit more hotter grainier um and a little just too spicy this one's really well balanced. It's got good sweetness and good uh, spiciness to it, too. Yep. And the finish. Thumbs up. I like it. I mean, there's some great baking spices still going. It's not overpowering, not underwhelming. I think it's a really good five-year uh, MGP barrel. So what do you think, Ryan? Do we ask him to hold barrel BP1 for us? I'm in. All right. <laughs> we'll send the request. But that is our review for Nashville Barrel Company's five-year single, rail, single barrel release from barrel bp1 we don't know which one it is but it was another solid contender it's gotta be now it has to be we'll go ahead and claim it throw a sticker on it cheers everybody we'll see you next time